Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists nurses with nursing board issues. Today, I'm going to talk about can you be a nurse with a misdemeanor drug charge? So, uh, obviously, this is not going to be state specific. I'm just going to give you general kind of tips and things to think about if you're going to apply uh, for your nursing license. I, I know that many people that watch these videos are also maybe thinking of going into nursing school and then are thinking, all right, well, maybe I can get into nursing school, but I can't get a license and I just wasted a bunch of time and money. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk more towards applicants uh, or maybe even people that are thinking of going to nursing school. This is not going to be directed towards uh, currently licensed nurses. All right. So you have a past misdemeanor drug charge, which could be, uh, you know, possession of a bunch of different drugs, potentially distribution. There are some misdemeanor distribution uh, charges as well. Uh, and so uh, if you've been convicted, so you've either gone to trial and lost or most likely reached a plea uh, with the prosecutor and then you had to do, um, you know, some kind of uh, like community service, fines, maybe some drug counseling, treatment, whatever it is, uh, the board cares about convictions for the most part and not just charges. If you're just charged with a crime, it doesn't mean you've ultimately been found guilty. Uh, only when you've been convicted or reached a plea or maybe went into a pretrial diversion program, that's where most boards find uh, that the nurse in their minds would be convicted. So uh, if you've had one, let's just say you had one, misdemeanor possession of marijuana from 20 years ago, that is not going to keep you from getting your nursing license. Uh, when a board looks at the criminal past of a nurse, they're going to run two things. They're going to ask in the application, uh, and this changes from state to state, but usually they'll ask, do you have any felony convictions? And then two, uh, potentially, do you have any misdemeanor charges uh, involving substance abuse? Um, it does vary state to state. So you need to look at the specific language in the application of the state that you're looking to apply and then just see what you have to disclose. And then the board is also going to run a criminal background check. And then anything that pops up in that criminal background check, they're likely going to reach out to you and ask you to kind of give a um, summary of what happened and maybe even potentially provide them with the uh, police records or court documents. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, in, in a board's mind, what they care about is that they're going to license nurses that are safe, that don't have drug problems, uh, and the board's stated mission is to protect the public. They're not there to protect the nurse. So they're going to see, all right, well, how many different misdemeanor drug charges or convictions do they have? So if you've had 15 in the last three years, that is a big problem and you are probably not going to get your license. If you had, as I said before, maybe one from 20 years ago, uh, almost no chance you wouldn't get your license. It's, it's a sliding scale. So you need to think about how much time has elapsed from when you had your last conviction until when you applied. And then how many did you have? Uh, you can also think that if you did have a drug problem at the time, what have you done to fix the problem? So if a nurse was addicted to, uh, I don't know, methamphetamine, doesn't mean you won't get your license, but the board certainly is going to want to know, all right, well, if you were, you know, or if you did have addiction issues, what did you do to solve that problem? Did you go to AA or NA? Did you go to counseling? Did you seek treatment? Maybe you went into inpatient rehab, or maybe you went into an intensive outpatient treatment program, an IOP. Um, maybe you've made some lifestyle changes or have a different friend group or got, got away from a, uh, you know, an abusive spouse or something like that. There has to be a change if there's just a big cluster of drug problems at a time. There has to be some change and some rehabilitation for the board to feel comfortable to issue a license. Uh, if they think, let's just say it's kind of a recent number of drug charges and they think maybe this nurse hasn't done what they need to do, it's certainly possible that they could issue the license, but also put the nurse on probation simultaneously. Uh, probation 
for drug issues in most states would include random drug testing, some kind of supervision at work, maybe some kind of continuing education, a nurse recovery group, um, counseling, rehab, whatever. I mean, there's a vast, uh, you know, like variety of things they could do. But uh, even if you've had a bunch of recent things, but you're willing to do what it takes to get your license, the board can, uh, as I said before, issue the license, but pr put you on probation could be anywhere from 12 to 36 months, sometimes more. Uh, and then if you were to get through that period, then your license would no longer be encumbered. Now, one bad thing about being placed on probation, uh, if an alternative to discipline program is not available for you. So an alternative discipline program in most states is some kind of confidential monitoring program where you can do all the things I just listed, but it wouldn't be public and it wouldn't be considered formal discipline. If the board only offers you formal discipline, that's going to stay in your record at least in most states forever. So you need to think about, all right, well, even if I do get a license, if, the, if I have this blemish on it for forever, uh, is that going to kind of dampen the chances of me maybe getting the job I wanna get? I would say no, but it definitely is more difficult to find a job if you have a disciplinary history. <clears throat> so in summary, uh, if you just have one or two misdemeanor drug convictions, probably fine. The closer to the date that you apply, the more scrutiny you're going to get from the board. Um, but overall, it's not a com complete career ender. Uh, every situation is a little bit different. What I would suggest, I'm in Arizona, so I only help, help nurses with the Arizona board. Um, before you even apply to nursing school, it might make sense to reach out to somebody in the state that you're thinking of applying to, someone who has experience with nursing board issues, and just say, hey, in the past, have you had a similar scenario? And then what is the likelihood of me getting a license once I actually apply it? Now, no one's going to be able to give you a 100% accurate guess. But if someone's been doing the nursing board for a long time, uh, they can usually give you a decent, decently accurate, um, I guess, estimation of whether they think you would get licensed or not. And then maybe if there was disciplinary action attached to that or not. Uh, if you have any questions about your um, I guess nursing career, you can always give us a call at the phone, phone number listed below in the description. Um, or you re can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com. Uh, once again, my name is Robert Shelley, and we help nurses in Arizona. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Take care.